by uh, something that Digger had suggested. Uh, he was saying that maybe I should do like a daily vlog. Um, he was saying like 25 minutes. I don't think that's a good idea. Um, but uh, yeah, just so you guys can keep up to date, more up to date as I'm putting up older stuff because sometimes it gets, well, sometimes it is getting behind. So anyways, uh, so I thought, well, okay, we'll call it uh, Coffee uh, with the Lad Vlog number one on this one. And uh, yeah, so I'll, I'm not going to, you know, just I'll do this, talk about whatever, you know, time to finish a coffee and uh, a puff, good kind. So anyway, this was a gift uh, from my friend Luke that I... We uh, ran into each other at uh, at uh, White Sands Campground at Sable Beach, and uh, <laughs> we're a match made in heaven. And the idea that, <coughs> excuse me, that uh, we're both uh, yappers and we have uh, uh, no shyness to express our ideas or whatever. So I get along with him really good. But anyway, he brought me more than that, more than a few gifts. So. Anyways, uh, so that was uh, Luke's thing. So this is kind of neat. So and that's the good stuff. And it tastes uh, like it tastes like Smarties, uh, not the chocolate kind, uh, but the other kind. You know, the sugary little round tiny ones there look like little caps. Anyways, uh, that's what it tastes like. That one. There's other ones he brought too, but. This one seems to never, uh, never seems to run out. Like, it's just like, wow, you know, like puff, puff, puff. I was puffing this with him all night at the fire. And I came back here, or no, I puffed it more. Uh, and then it came back here and I started puffing on it. It's still going. I just had to recharge it though. That was one thing. Anywho, so I'm back from the, uh, from the, uh, the trip to, uh, Sable Beat. Wasn't such a great trip. I never got out fishing, which is a real bummer. But on the other hand, I console myself with the idea that I had a good time there. Uh, made a new friend and uh, yakking with him and uh, hanging around the campsite and stuff. Uh, you know, that uh, that round the trip right off. It was a great trip. So, and uh, yeah, White Sands Campground. So plan for next year. Same deal. Um We'll see about the tent thing. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be in a tent or not. We'll have to see about that one. <coughs> that was a bit of a rough go. <clears throat> but there's, you know, now I've got the boat. I'm feeling really solid about the boat. Like it's not leaking anymore. The bilge pump uh, that True put in is working perfectly. The motor's running good. I've got two different gas line systems in there. The, the, the gas buddy, the new style kind, and then the regular old you know, Mariner, uh, regular gas. Boy, yeah, all of a sudden there's mosquitoes. There weren't mosquitoes before. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. It's a quiet night here at camp. Hang on. So quiet except for, you know, creatures. So, but it's a beautiful night here. Um... It's really, really nice uh, with the temperature. Like we're gonna get, like this is this is what August should have been at Sable Beach. I was telling Lisa in a text that you know uh, one of the owners of the campground. Hang on, one of the owners of the campground, you know that uh, we were at well White Sands. I've been going to for a long time. Uh, that she should reopen it there for now because like the rest of this month is looking really nice. It'll be like oh man, and some great fishing this time of year. I said, then we'll all come back. And I got a big LOL kind of thing, eh? So anyways, no, they're not going to reopen that. Um, who, you know, it'd be funny if they did and then they got really busy or something. And, you know, summer was up and down like everything. You know, it was a rough summer, uh, you know, for people financially here in Ontario. So they just weren't camping like they normally do. Or at least Sable Beach. Maybe they're staying at campgrounds closer to home or something. So anyway, um, so like I was saying, I feel really solid about the boat. Um, Jeff's coming over tomorrow, which is Thursday, the, what, the 12th. And, uh, he's going to be doing some work around here for me. He's already done uh, a bit of cleanup, uh, but I'm going to get him to paint the floor in the boat tomorrow because, uh, it looks, it looks like it's really going to be nice on the weekend. 
And uh, so I said, hey, why don't we go out and do some fishing? So maybe we'll just go over to Robertson Lake and uh, see. Because uh, trout, trout, I missed it. Lake, lake trout season at uh, uh, Palmerson Lake is over, done, finished. I can't go. So anyways, there's other lake trout lakes we can go to. But right now, you know, just get him in the water. He's had a stressful, stressful time uh, problems, uh, you know, at home and stuff like that. So he's having to move and that's always a drag. So. Anyways, but he's going to be fine. So, but anyway, he's going to work here tomorrow. I'm going to get him here for at least two or three hours anyways. And uh, um, I'm going to have to get my mosquito stuff out. I'd put it away with the camping. I didn't think we we're going to be mosquitoes anymore. Um, did I ever think wrong? <laughs> this is your idea, Digger. <laughs> of course, I could have stayed inside. Digger never told me to sit outside. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, Dig. Anyways, uh, I gotta keep remembering because this is not the Go, not the GoPro, the DJI. It's easier to look. This is hard. I gotta keep remembering to look to the left here so that I look like I'm looking right at you, people. Arr! Anyways, uh, um, uh, what was I saying? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I got uh, uh, Jeff coming over tomorrow. He's gonna. I'm gonna get him to paint the boat floor. Uh, do some more cleanup, some weed whipping, and uh, then I'm going to get him to the back. Uh, he's going to clean the entire back of the trailer. You know, we're going to get the toad out of there. He's going to rake everything right down to the ground. All the construction stuff that's just laid around back there, it's going to go into one place. And uh, what else? Oh, and then uh, if he has time tomorrow, I got to get him to dig a trench for the outgoing gray water. So I'm gonna have uh, have him do the trench and get that all down. And then uh, it'll be ready for True to come in and plumb it back out and we'll rewrap it with he heater, uh, you know, tape wire there and everything. And we shouldn't have any freeze up problems. It should have been buried in the first place, but it didn't, it froze, uh, it broke, whatever. So uh, this time, uh, you know, we're gonna get her done. So that's what Jess gonna be doing tomorrow. Well, he's here. I'm going to go to the back. I guess maybe I'll take you guys with me for one of these quick vlogs. Um, I have to finish this coffee up because I don't want to really go over 10 minutes. Um, or this first one anyway. I don't, I don't drink coffee that fast. I thought I did, but I really don't. Um, i going to have to air up the tires in the ATV. There's a problem with it. There's noises coming out of it. There shouldn't be, so it's going to go back to true. But I haven't said anything to true yet. Because I asked him to start preparing to get the wood stove pipe moved and everything. So he told me today I need to get uh, a Selkirk flat roof flange uh, kit. And then we're looking for some specific uh, Selkirk pipe. Going to try and get used. Selkirk is one of those pipes you can get used. You just got to check them well. But it's a lot cheaper that way. I don't need anything new here. So, And True uh, will rig it up. It's going to be it's way over spec safety-wise. You should see what he has in his 26-foot trailer. I'm not worried about a thing if he puts his hand to it. And the wood stove will work better this winter. Because there was problems uh, with the way it's set up now. But anyway, so um, that'll be two things. And the third thing I got to get True to do is he's going to start taking loads to the dump. Because I've got Jeff starting to pile everything up front that was, you know, loose and around. Just get this place cleaned up that's turned into a junkyard. And it's, that's just no good. So anyway, so, uh, but I'm going to use the bike, uh, like I'm not going to pound it or anything, but I'm going to use the bike tomorrow and I've got to go take care of uh, the plants back there. It's, it's, this year is a failure. Uh, at least that's the way I think it is. I know I got at least another month and a half, but it still looks like a failure back there. They haven't been fed properly. They haven't been watered properly. Now I'm going to try and do that tomorrow. Like while he's here, I'm going to go back there and then I'm going to try and I'm going to feed them, water them, get like, get the sprinkler set up and all that. When he's here, it'll be handy because I can, uh, I can, you know, it's quiet here. So if I'm back there, you know, tell them, okay, turn on the water, make sure the sprinkler's in the right place. So I don't have to run back and forth like I usually do so that'll be handy and uh, maybe we can uh, have at least a partial recovery of the plants so but I think it's the last year I'm going to do outdoor I think it's that's it uh, I don't want to do it anymore um, I think what I am going to do is have true build a permanent like instead of the tent I have inside for my inside uh, plant I'm going to uh, have him build something a little bit bigger so I can put two plants and that's enough two plants every 
four months because I can do, yeah, three times a year in the in the grow tent and uh, it's a lot easier control wise uh, all kinds of things and i just don't need to be growing like four plants even uh, is is <laughs> i'm not going to use it and i mean there are some things i've discovered uh, of course uh, you know buying uh, you know when i want joints or whatever all a pre-roll or whatever i go to the res uh, for some of that uh you know it's good and i've actually found a couple of things at uh, the, the purse store not the it's not well it's ocs branded stuff but it's uh um not perth cannabis uh oh anyways whatever uh so once in a while so i mean between all that and uh i've gotten into the mod thing so as you guys know and that's that one guy i can order wax and all that stuff from so you know what i got more than i need and i, I mean I don't smoke like I used to, obviously, so I'm still growing like the way I used to smoke, but I'm finding it takes a whole lot less these days to, you know, get the... So, yeah, I guess this is going to stretch to 15 minutes. Hey, Digger, maybe it should be 25 minutes because I had a lot to say. Of course, see, tomorrow I won't have as much to say because a daily thing, I don't know if that's going to work here because, I mean, I don't have that much going on. Tomorrow, um, I'm supposed to go grocery shopping as well So for my mom, so i got to fit all this in. And if I don't, I'll just go Friday, but I hate going shopping on Fridays because that's when everybody else does. And uh, with this weather going like this, despite most people closing down their camp, uh, their campsite, their, uh, well, their campsites at, at uh, tra uh, you know, some seasonals will shut early, um, cottagers and all that. But these next couple of weekends and couple of weeks, this weather's looking mighty nice. Uh, if I had the money and Lisa was open at White Sands, I think I'd probably go back. Just, okay, I'm going to do another one. We, at least I know now with Jeff around, uh, the cats were fine. Everything went good with them. They're happy, happy. Wally is usually crabby when I come back. None of that. And if anything, they're like super lovey-dovey. So <laughs> I think they go, okay, human went for a long time this time. Okay, we're going to be cool when he gets back. Whatever. But anyway, uh, yeah, so they're fine. Uh, they were fine on the thing. Everything was fine here. I mean, between, you know, True coming here and, and Jeff and... Uh, you know, uh, so the place was kind of half-assed occupied with people coming and going anyway. So, and uh, of course, I mean, I don't, uh, not many people I trust more than True or Jeff. I mean, I'm not worried with them here. So, but uh, yeah. Um, uh, so I was talking about Jeff. I was talking about the plants. I was talking about not doing it. I'm going to have True build something inside. Uh, I don't want to have to do the outside. I think I'm done with outside. So anyways, uh yeah, so I guess that's about it. Um, yeah, there were no mishaps coming back. It was a really good drive. New highway I never took before. We took I took 45 all the way, and usually I do a different thing, and it connects to two different or three different highways from Bancroft. But this time, I uh, I don't know how I missed it before, but like Highway 45 is like zoom. Like, uh, anyways, uh, nice drive too, like nice area. Um, it connected like... Where I connected, like I have been on 45, but where I connected it was closer to Aurelia this time rather than further down. And I just had to stay on there right into to Bancroft pretty much. And uh, so, um, yeah, I mean, oh, I guess it turns into Highway 28. That's what it does, like 45 and then turns into 28. So once it does, and then you're in Bancroft. Or then 28 to Denby and then 41 and then, you know, the... Van Acre back road there that I take to come back home here. So, uh, but yeah, uneventful. It was fast. Six hours, believe it or not. Six hours. I cut an hour off and I wasn't speeding at all. I was only doing 80, 85 kilometers all the way back. I had the cruise control. I was like, set it and forget it. You know, and uh, I didn't film it. So, um, I filmed all the way up there. I mean, it, I, I don't know. I get, I get bored just listening to myself talk, like trying to keep something going. And, uh, I, uh, strangely enough, I usually listen to a lot of music when I'm driving along one there, but I didn't listen to music this time. I had lots of music at the campsite. So, and I got the big boom box here. I haven't started it up yet here, but, oh, that's the other thing. Um, tomorrow when Jeff's here, hang on, we'll go over there actually. Um, uh, one thing I'm definitely going to do here is uh, um, the the pallet. The, uh, well, the, 
you know, the, this. <laughs> you can see what's happened with the chipboard. Uh, it rotted through here and there, and of course my foot went through. So this stuff here, famous last words, is going to say still pretty solid, but the chipboard, it's, you know, it's chipboard, right? So anyway, I've got more chipboard here. I don't know how good a shape it is in, but um, I'm going to get Jeff to uh, put another panel back here, and we're going to set the tent back up. Um, I might even try and get him to move this with me. I'll give him a hand if we can. I don't want it to break apart, but I was thinking about turning it more this way, so the tent's facing this way, the, I mean the door, and then it's further back here, and it makes more room for around the campfire pit. So uh, Luke may be coming up. I don't know when, but... Anyways, the idea is I told Jeff if he wants to camp out here too, like he wants to just be away from everything, wander around the bush. I said, I'm going to set the tent up. Um, yes, yeah, my foot just went through another piece here. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, so I'm going to try and get him to do that tomorrow as well. Um, but uh, yeah, so I'm going to move that. There's a chance that Luke's going to come up with his bus. So I'm going to get him set up in a good place, a bus. And then we'll have, you know, we have room sitting around here. Uh, hopefully he comes early enough still that we can go fishing. You know, a few things like that. So, but uh, yeah, you guys see I'm getting, it's really getting overgrown here. The gray water pit all around it needs to be weed whipped as best as you can with that. Um, you know, it just needs a, you know... I was away, but uh, I'm told uh, until they get this this thing with my neck or whatever's going on with me, vaccine damage, we don't know. But this numbness in my arms is still happening, so I just haven't talked about or complained about it. So anyway, uh, um, like I said, with the boat too, I'm really, really happy. So you can see Jeff did a major cleanup here and uh, giving that awning to Luke for his bus. He already knows about it. I've showed him the picture. All he needs to do is replace the uh, the canvas, and he's got himself a nice awning to come off the side of his bus. So, I mean, and that's a necessity. I mean, you know, I gave him a uh, one. I gave him one of the other uh, canopies. Um, so that's all the junk's got to go to the dump. So I've uh, gonna set, well, I haven't texted him yet, but I'm going to text True and uh, get him to put me on his dump list here as soon as possible because that pile's going to be getting bigger. So, hang on a minute. So, yeah, get True uh, to come do that. And then, uh, you know, once it uh, gets bigger again, we'll then now get True again to come and get it. And then we'll have it all out of there. So, and that's, of course, going to be the construction supply um, area. So, I'm going to start looking for cheap live edge from one of the local guys here. Hang on a minute. Um... I'm going to do what True did with his. I'll see if I can remember to put... Oh, I think I deleted them. Oh, no, I can still get them because he sent them to me. But I'm going to show you what True did with his Live Edge uh, stuff because he's wanting to do the awning here and he's going to do it in October, November. So, uh, But we're going to do it with this Live Edge stuff that he's got. He did it with his place and it looks really, really good and it's cheap and it's simple. So anyways, uh, good old True to come up with a good idea for stuff. Anyway... Um, so, yeah, so lots going on. I think that's, uh, you know, um, I probably forgot things, but that's all right. Uh, I'll remember for the next vlog, so, and I'll get this uploaded right away. I won't fool about. I'll go and uh, transfer this over to the big computer, edit it, and then I'll put it up right away. So, and, uh, oh, what I'm doing now, too, is uh, I'm not direct uploading to Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram anymore. Videos, just not bothering. I'm not getting much movement there and uh you know what's the point of me helping facebook uh, with content uh you know and i don't make anything out of it from them and never going to make anything out of it from them and they they definitely have me shadow banned pushing way down because they just do my rumble channel is the fastest growing one i have more people watching it every day than i do on youtube so but anyways i'm going to stick to youtube and rumble for these kind of videos like landscape i talked to digger and he had some good ideas about this and then uh, I'll do the portrait ones as well, but that'll be strictly for TikTok. And, uh, um, uh, oh, and I'll probably break them down to a couple shorts and a couple reels here and there, and then I'll leave it at that. But the long form stuff, st it's going to stay with YouTube and Rumble. That's it. And then uh, I'm, I'm thinking, and I'll mention this, I'll ask you guys 
Um, I was asking Digger. So here's the thing. I've got a lot of back betrayal. I've got a whole bunch of raccoon videos that I've never put up, uh, but those are from 2023. So the reason we were talking about doing this is I'd put up like a daily thing and then I might put up a video from 2023, like the same day. So, you know, get caught up eventually. But uh, there's a lot of good stuff in there. I was looking through and I'm going, oh shit, I don't want to delete all this. I was going to start deleting and then I talked to Digger about it. And, you know, so he had some different ideas uh, on things and uh, I got some good, good advice out of him. So thanks, brother. But uh, anyways, um, uh, but yeah, um, what do you, uh, the other thing I could do is that I've noticed some channels, they're putting their old stuff that's never been up and they're putting it onto their Patreon and then putting it behind the paywall there. So kind of like an archives kind of deal. But uh, yeah, I'm not, uh, I'm not sanguine about all that. I'm, I'm trying to get that figured out. So I'm supposed to be looking over here. So anyways, oh, I'm over 20 minutes. That's it. We're done. Okay. Haven't finished my coffee. Going to reheat it in the microwave. But there you go. I'm inflicting all this on you. You can all thank Digger for this idea. Okay. So we're going to call this uh, coffee with the lad B-log and then it'll be the same. Well, I might not be sitting here, but anyway, please like, share and subscribe. And